Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Hopefully everybody out there had a real nice Christmas and um, I want to wish everybody a happy new year coming up here real soon. And uh, we're kind of excited to uh, get the new hobby room done. We still got a ways to go on it, but uh, 2018 I think is going to be a um, something new and improved for Showtime Studios. And hopefully all my subscribers and viewers out there will enjoy the, um, the new setup the new camera angles, the new lighting that we'll have, things like that. Uh, we are still in the process of doing the hobby room. We're probably looking at about the middle of January before we're done. But I've had a lot of requests on something, and, you know, I, I want to try it. And I want to see if I can do this. It'll be a challenge for me with so many things going on. Of course, you know, redoing the hobby room and things like that. But uh, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, so what I'm talking about is I've had a lot of requests on guys that are, you know, fairly new to the hobby or just getting into it on, you know, me sitting down and doing a kit from start to finish and showing the steps along the way that I do and, uh, you know, pretty much the basics. So that's what I decided to do. Uh, like I say, it's going to be a challenge for me. Hopefully I can accomplish this um within a reasonable time frame so what i did this morning is i went out to the local hobby shop and i looked around in their kits and i found a kit that was pretty looked pretty straightforward and more simplified but it is a glue together kit uh that happens to be this kit right here which is the amt uh 1939 wagon rod and i was looking on the back of it here and of course, you can see there's not a whole lot of parts in the kit, which is good for, you know, doing a tutorial series like this. So that's what we're going to be doing. And if I can pull off this whole tutorial series from start to finish and get this model done, the other thing that will be a plus uh, for me personally is uh, this will be my first ever street rod. So hopefully we can get that done. So this is the kit we're going to be doing. And I went ahead and picked up a can of the Tamaya TS-37. And you probably won't be able to see the color real well, but this is called Lavender. Now, the box art on this is purple, and they didn't really have a purple that uh, in the can straight out, you know, straight out of the can that, that looked like the box art. And what I didn't want to do in this series is do a bunch of custom stuff or anything like that. I want to keep it box stock. I want to keep it simple. Um, I won't be showing the spraying portion of it on camera because I don't have my camera set up in the spray booth area. In fact, I've got a little path to the spray booth right now uh, because we still have to take everything out of the spray booth area to remodel that part. So it's going to be a little bit hectic, but we're going to try to do that in between. It gives me a break um, from, you know, working on that and, you know, regular job and life and all that. So we're going to try this. But uh, I decided to go ahead and spray this model with the can, straight out of the can, no airbrush, to keep it simple for the guys just getting into it that don't have an airbrush. Show you how it'll turn out with just a can. So that's the body color we're going to be using. And I also picked up a can of TS7, uh, which is Racing White from Tamaya. And this will be used for a lot of the interior pieces. Now, I will be using the airbrush on some things here and there, um, like on the suspension parts, engine parts, things like that. And if I do it with the uh, uh, Tamiya acrylics, which I plan on doing, I may go ahead and shoot them right here at the spray boot or at the uh, at the workbench, and that'll be on camera. So, like I say, I'm doing it out of the cans. I'm going to try to keep the airbrush to a minimum. I'm going to go through all the steps on how I turn out my models. Um, you know, as far as the basics, uh, what to look for, you know, the procedures that I use, uh, the tools that I use to, you know, cut parts off the tree, clean parts up, uh, things like that. So hopefully um, for the younger guys out there and the guys that are newer to the hobby or just getting into the hobby, this will be a helpful series for them. And I know many of you seasoned veterans out there that's on my subscriber list and, you know, have been, um, you know, supporters of my channel over the years, you guys are pretty seasoned at what you do. And this series probably really won't teach you anything um, for the most part. But if you want to watch along with it, that's great. Um, I want to thank you ahead of time for the support if you do that. But I just thought this would be something good for, like I say, the younger guys, the intermediate modelers or the beginning modelers. So uh, that's what we have planned. 
And as you can see right up here, I've got the camera. So all of these videos that has to do with building this kit will be looking straight down on the workbench. Um, I am working with a very limited amount of uh, tools and supplies right now because a lot of stuff's packed up. So we are definitely going to be doing it back to the basics. So that's the introduction video for this series that I want to do. And if anybody has any suggestions or whatever, you know, that may make the series better, uh, let me know. Leave me a comment on the video and we'll go from there. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get this video cut off. We'll do the next video where we open up the box. We'll go through it. I'll show you some of the things that I look for. Um, and then we'll go from there. We'll start building something. We'll start getting something glued together. But uh, these videos will be a little bit longer. So I want to warn everybody ahead of time that, you know, a lot of these steps you can't do in, you know, two minutes. And I'm not a fan of, of fast forward photography or video doing. Um, you know, I like to do everything in real time, explain what I'm doing. So everybody, you know, understands um, you know, what I'm trying to get out there. And, and, you know, if I tell you that, you know, this is the way that I do it, I don't want to fast forward through it. And at the end, you see a finished product and you still don't know what I've done. So that's why I want to, you know, do it start to finish and they will be longer videos. So if you want to watch them, that's cool. Uh, if it's not your cup of tea, hey, that's cool, too. We're doing it for the um, for the newer guys out there. So uh, that's all we've got for this one. Like always, I want to thank you for watching Showtime Studios and supporting. And we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.